Alright, in this video we're going to do another example of finding the magnitude and direction of a vector. So, uh, I guess uh, let's do part B. I've got that down here in the bottom left. So, first, uh, I like to graph my vectors. So, it's got components negative 2, comma, negative 5. So, you know, you don't have to do this, but I, again, I like to. So, negative 1, negative 2, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if the vector starts at the origin, it says you go two units to the left, and then you would go five units down is where it would stop. So there's going to be our vector v. Um, I don't think we named them, but that's what I'm going to call it. So there's vector v. Again, to find the magnitude, uh, the magnitude isn't too bad. You don't have to really do much other than just uh, take each component, square it, um, add those together and square root it. So, well, negative 2 squared is positive 4. Negative 5 squared is positive 25. 4 plus 25 is going to give us the square root of 29. Can't factor 29 uh, except to use 1 and 29 uh, if we're using whole numbers here. So it's a, just a prime number. So the square root of 29, I would leave that alone and I would say that's my magnitude. And now to find this, uh, this direction angle again. So if you kind of imagine making a little right triangle, we'll call this the angle theta. Um, again, I'm going to think about the triangle in terms of lengths. So even though you know we go two units to the left, negative two, we're going to use positive two. We go five units down, so we'll make the opposite side uh, have value five. So now I'm simply going to take tangent of theta. So Tangent is opposite over adjacent, so 5 over 2. 5 over 2, that's just, well, 2.5. So what we'll do to both sides, uh, so we've got tangent of theta equals 2.5. To solve for theta, we can just use inverse tangent. So inverse tangent, whoops, I'm going to miss my negative one there. So inverse tangent of 2.5. That's going to give us our angle theta. So let's see, when I do inverse tangent of 2.5, I get theta to equal 68.20 degrees. Um, again, maybe we can round this off. Uh, let's just leave it right there. Uh, so 68.2 degrees. But again, what we've really found is this angle um, in our triangle. So really, that's going to correspond to this angle. Uh, in the top top right corner, so this is really 68.20 uh, degrees. The direction angle, though, that just has to do, you know, sort of, you know, normal where normal angles would fall. So really, since this is in the third quadrant, what we would have to do is we would have to take. So to get the direction angle. So to get the direction angle, since we're sitting here in quadrant 3, we'll take 180 degrees and we'll add on this value, 68.20 degrees, and that to me looks like that's going to give us 248.20 degrees as our direction angle.